You are who God says you are. It doesn't matter what house you live in, what clothes you wear, what job you have. Brothers and sisters, you are who God says you are. It does not even matter what, which type of family you were born in, which country you, res, you, you reside in, the location that you are in, your condition. It does not matter. The truth is, you are who God says you are. If God says you are healed, you are healed. If God says you are a chosen generation, you are a chosen generation. If God says you are a royal priesthood, you are a royal priesthood. If God says that you are the light and salt of this world, brothers and sisters, it is the truth. A lot of people do not know that this world is a dark place, that a lot of people are perishing. That which you know, a lot of people do not know. They are people who are struggling in life, struggling. They are toiling. You may think you are toiling, but wait until you go to somebody who is really toiling. You may think you are poor, but wait and go to a place where there are poor people. Brothers and sisters, Jesus became poor that you may become rich. On that cross, he said, it is finished. So whatever is coming up against you, brothers, it is finished. So it is time to say what God says you are. Remember that the word of God, the scripture, is like a mirror to us. So whenever we feel down, whenever we feel sick, whenever we feel worried, let us go back to the scripture. Let us look at the scripture as though we are looking at the mirror. And when we look at what the word of God says about us, we start speaking it out. We may feel down, but let us speak that we, was, we are strong. Let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say that I am rich. It is time to say those words. It is time to hear those words come out of your mouth. So brothers and sisters, you are who God says you are. I know some of you have grown up believing a lie. Maybe it's your family. You have grown up surrounded by people who have failed in life. And it has made you believe a lie that you are a failure. But brothers and sisters, you are not a failure. Just because you are around failures does not make you a failure. Just, you are around, just because you are around people who are poor does not make you poor. You are rich in Christ Jesus. Today's word is from the book of John 10, 31, 39. John 10, 31, 39. And it reads, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, it is not, is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say to him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming? Because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore, they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hand. Powerful. Remember, I started by saying that you are who God says you are. Now, this is Jesus, where he was in a certain location. And the scripture says, the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Notice that Jesus was surrounded with people who sought to kill him. And these were his own people. These were the Jews. 
He came to his, to his own, and his own received him not. So they took up stones again to stone him. Why? Jesus answered, Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my Father. For which of those do you stone me? Jesus was a, a person that did good works. A man that did good works. And yet, Jews, teachers of the law, Pharisees, scribes, sought to kill him. Now, I want to bring your attention to one of the scriptures where Jesus answered them and says, Is it not in your law? I said, you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say to him, whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming? Jesus says, you are gods. Brothers and sisters, a lot of religious people will not believe the fact. But this is Jesus saying, and he's telling you that you are gods. Now, but now, notice when he says gods, it is not gods with a capital G. It is gods with a small g. For those that are finding it hard to believe this message, because it's the scripture that has written it out. When you have dogs, what do dogs give birth to? Dogs give birth to dogs. Sheep give birth to sheep. It always have to give, they always have a tendency of giving birth to their own, own kind. It is impossible, quite rare. To find a sheep giving birth to a cow. A sheep giving birth to a goat. It is not possible. Of course, unless we have scientists who are trying to defy God. But in a natural way, a sheep will give birth to its own kind. The same way, God calls you his son. God has called you his child. So, the scripture says, you are born of God. So, what does that make you? You are a God, brothers and sisters. But a lot of people are living as though they are not gods. Another, another similar scripture says that, don't you know that you are gods, but you will die as mere men? These are the words of Jesus. Don't you know that you are gods, but you will die of mere men, like mere men? God wants you to act like God. He has given you authority. That's why he says you have to speak to your mountain. Speak to your storm. He has given you that power and authority. You have, you, you are born, you are created. You are made in God's image and likeness. Brothers and sisters, I wish somebody is getting it. So it is time to speak what God says you are. It is of no wonder that the enemy, the devil, does not like us. He's so afraid of us. He does not want us to speak. That's why he says some of you have been blocked from speaking. They have refused you. They have refused to give you the voice to speak. Because the enemy knows once he gives you, once he allows you to speak, you will start creating. You will start creating. Uh, not, um, uh, causing things into existence, not even creating, because creating is for God above. But you start making things. You start calling things into existence. So, brothers and sisters, you are what God says you are. If God says you are a God, you are a God. This is the good news that we preach. I hope this message has been a blessing to you. One thing that I would like you to do, uh, share this message with somebody else. Uh, leave your comments. Now, until next time, shalom.